One minute. There was also a shooting. no smoking policy here in the Oklahoma arena. That includes the arena, the concessions area, and the restroom. Welcome to Golden Lion Basketball. Tim Stubbs along with Tyree Spoon. We are courtside from H.O. Clemens Arena here on the campus of the University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff as the Golden Lion set to take on the visiting Alabama A&M Bulldogs. Glad to have you with us once again this evening as the high-flying Golden Lions at 8-1 sit atop of the Southwestern Athletic Conference standings as we begin the second half of the conference season here tonight. And the Golden Lions look for a season sweep against Alabama a and knocking off the Bulldogs about a month ago there in Huntsville, Alabama. Top. If you can spot at the top, and they've done excellently in the back half of games. They've been known as a slow starter, and they've never been in that slow. But, you know, when number one, when McKnight gets on, he's on for good. He, he's not the, uh, he doesn't like to force the issue. He likes to wait and see. And then at the end of the game, uh, near the end of the game, he comes back and it shows us why we call him the marvelous one. Look for that today. Night normally distributor in the beginning of the game, so we might see that a bunch today. Well, the Golden Lions in their home whites with their black and gold trim, and Alabama and him in their road maroon jerseys with the white trim. We're underway with the opening tip is won by Trey Harper and the Golden Lions have the basketball to start the game. Right side, they get it to Harper on the right block, trying to back his man down, goes up with the left hand and missed it. At a good look at it, but That's missed really it right at the rim. This is right at the rim, a little bit. You can get that shooter's bounce as we normally see. Kick out, now in the corner. Johnson will take the three. Trying to save it, but on the baseline, out of bounds was Harper. So A&M will get it back here. No score, just underway. 19-23 to play, early first half. Inbound it here. 
For the Golden Lions, Posey, Harper, Steen, McKnight, and Jackson, the starting five for Coach Ivory's ball club. Now they're starting to track yep, them, Nice steal here. It's going to be Jackson who lays it up on the other end. Golden Lions lead 2 nothing. No risk, no frills, just get the points. As they just, as they just randomly decided to turn up right in the middle of the half court play. Alabama a &M comes in struggling at two and eight, I believe is their record. I'll double check that, but they are in next to last place. Valley is in last place. And then Alabama a &M and Alabama State which will be here on Monday night. Alabama State will. And the Golden Lions sit alone atop of the standings as we start the second half of the season tonight. Nice hands there. Posey stripped it. Jackson with the steal. That's one of the reasons, man. The backcourt has some excellent hands. It's even better today than we normally see it. Here's Steen. Tough. Little fadeaway, no good. Harper, the offense rebound. He's fouled. And Trey Harper to the line for two shots as Alabama a &M is coming in at two and seven. And the Golden Lions at eight and one hold a full two game lead over a three way tie for second. Grambling State, Jackson State and Texas Southern all six and three. But the Golden Lions a full two game lead as we start the second half of the conference season and Pretty good seat to be sitting in, but you can't let off the gas. Exactly. I mean, it, it takes a little bit of the pressure off of you where every game isn't as, I wouldn't say as vital because every game is vital, but every game isn't as crushingly like important to where you got to worry every step of the way. They can relax a little bit and they can play their game and hopefully come away with the win. 3-0 after one of the free throws there by Harper on the other end. Three-point shot is no good, but a foul's called on Trent Steen. And it's going to be three free throws coming up here for Evan Wiley. Uh, so. Steen tried to close out on that one and uh, just came a little bit super flew a little too close to the sun, as you would say. And just didn't work out that way. And he's getting a touch now. They have a chance to tie the game up. Wiley hits the first shot. Two more coming up for the sophomore forward out of Huntsville, Alabama. Hometown boy, apparently, for his school. No. Homegrown. Misses the second. Chance to come within one now. And he missed the last two, but he gets his own rebound here, runs into his own man and turns it over. Wow. That's ugly. That's ugly. A little bit of a Three Stooges act there, if you will. <laughs> Here's Harper. Nice footwork. Gets the dunk on the baseline. They're going to wave it off and call him for steps. A little bit. I, you know what? Fine. I wasn't, we had a bad angle on it, so I can't confirm and or deny. Long pass underneath the basket here for a He got Steen up in the air. He comes Man. crashing down hard. Steen almost hit his head on the rim and then came down and flattened him. That was Andre Kennedy who's going to absorb the contact there and shoot two. But that's, that's a dangerous play when you get a man in the air. He's helpless. Yeah, yeah he, You go, go up, you got to come down. And he came down on top of Kennedy there. But they both seem to be OK. Glad, glad to see that both the players are okay. Number one, that's seen second foul, so I wouldn't expect them to be in the game for too much uh, for too much longer. Uh, coach, is saying, coach is saying that he wants to keep them in. I'm not mad at it. Seen is a great rebounder. Um, missed the second. We're gonna have a lane violation, however, on the Golden Lions. Gonna get another shot here. I think that was on Steve. Every giving him like a no, don't do that little wag of the finger, and they're going to get one more chance at coming in within one. One for four. Nice so, last one. Our score is three to two now after the free throw. 
17-40 to play early first half. Golden Lions with the basketball up by one. Great job breaking the pressure there. Charles Jackson left wing here. And McKnight floats in the corner. Uh, he'll get it in the corner. He'll crank it up and he'll hit the corner. Wow, you don't normally see McKnight just taking shots early on in the game. And he was calling for it. He wanted yeah. the ball to come back his way. And as soon as he got it. it was As soon as he put it up, it was coming down in the net. No doubt. It. Six to two after the three by McKnight. And Jackson got a hand on that one. So they're trying to get to the, the deep wing, the baseline wing. So AM will inbound it with 13 on the shot clock, trailing UAPB by four. Walters works it back right side now. Now in the corner it goes. Three point shot up. Will not go for AM. That was Arthur Johnson. Quickly ahead in transition. McKnight to Steen. Gets it blocked from behind, but out to Jackson. They start corralling that by Jackson Steen. Wide open. Steen will take the step back 16 footer just beyond the foul line and knocks it in. That's a KG special right there. I mean, especially it's going to be a very easy for Steen. He's really good at that mid range shot. So 8 to 2, good start. Here, yeah, that's a. Be even better, Posey oh. to McKnight. McKnight wanted to go right back to Posey, but Posey had already peeled out of the play there, and it's going to be a turnover, a little miscommunication as they blow the opportunity. Yeah, I mean, you know, one of those back and forth players with high pace, high speed, not an easy little one to read. Yeah. A little too unselfish. A little too unselfish indeed. I want the assist. No, I want the assist. Almost a travel there, exactly. <laughs> Trying to trap in the corner. Needs some help. Johnson, let's see. Or it's going to be Wiley. Stepped on the sideline. I mean, they're trying to play the Golden Lions 2-3 zone as they normally play. Uh, they play the normal 2-3 uh, zone normally on defense. They're trying to play it the, the right way. The ball movement is just not very crisp. The ball's hanging in the air a little more than you'd like as a coach. McKnight back to Posey here, right side to Jackson. 15 on the shot clock. Patient in their offensive set. Harper will come out high and get it. Eight to shoot, now back to Harper, off the cut, gets it blocked from behind by Wiley. Bulldogs on a run out here. Golden Lions get oh. back on defense. Harper erases it. And ahead to Steen, wants to go all the way. The layup is no good, but he draws the foul. And a great sequence there by the Golden Lions. And Harper getting back on defense started it. Man, Harper getting blocked on one end and sending it right back. LeBron James style on the other, the chase down. Easily spotted there. And now we're about to go. We're going to take a timeout here, Tyrese. 15-28 to play. Early first half, UAPB 8, Alabama A&M 2. Right back with more Golden Lion basketball in a moment. Fifteen twenty-eight to go, early first half. Good start for the Gold Lions, up eight to two. And at the foul line, it's going to be Trent Steen. Steen, a six-eight, two-twenty-five senior forward out of Forest City, Arkansas. 
the way of Mid-South Community College. Misses the first free throw, however. One more coming up for Trent. Yeah, he's been struggling from the line this season, especially at home when I've seen it. I mean, but he's been all right in every other category. One of the top rebounders. We're only we're Missed one the step. second as well. So right. Golden Lions uh, now one of four from the foul line early on here. Now kick it right side. And going to be a foul on Harper there on the baseline. As had uh, Deedrick Petty was trying to drive, was tripped up. I believe inadvertently if it it happened. I mean, it happened. It, it happened. Part of the game. Part of the game happens. Uh, was called for it. But um, there's, a, there's a change in tempo in this Alabama squad. The Bulldogs are really moving the ball forward now, moving the ball around. Shot clock at 15. Wiley now back right side to Walters. Down to seven to shoot here. Johnson looked for a screen. One second. Wiley stripped out of bounds with one second left. It's going to be tossing the uh, double toss. Now we're going to bring in Banyard is in the game for the first time. Another key player from the bench, the deep bench of the Golden Lions. He had an excellent game on, on Monday. Sure did. Shot is up, but they're going to wave it off. Shot clock violation is. There may have been a little less than a second left from the shot clock. We would have had to hit him with one of those. A, it would have to be a shots. tip, basically. Yeah, basically. Can't get, can't catch and shoot. Mm. It's coot. The catch shoot. <laughs> Eight to two. Golden Lions by six with the basketball here. 14 and a half minutes to go. Still early in the first half. Here's McKnight. The drive and the layup. Got the roll there as it almost spun out on him, but a beautiful slick drive there by Martavius McKnight. Good hands, almost come up with a steal. Wiley now inside, and that is a block by Banyard, but we're going to have a foul call. <laughs> hey. I'm a, I'm a big fan of this fan, this crowd right now, man. And a good student section behind us. Yeah, definitely. Well, they were right on top of us Monday night in the yeah, final, final three or four minutes. That was the craziest moment in my commentating career, my very, very young commentating career. As that, that, was, that was a wonderful moment to be a part of. The last second five of the night. The day to just be calm and composed under pressure like that. Wish I had that. I don't. I, I panic. Ten to four after the free throws there by Arthur Johnson. Yeah, I mentioned to someone after the game, I thought it was top five in my 17-year <laughs> career here as far as games that I broadcasted for UAPB for home games. Here's Jackson for three just because of what was at stake. Yeah. First, second place, two teams, 19-point deficit, the way they came back and then to win it there. On the last second shot, I mean, it just had all, it all, all the makings. All, yeah, all the formulas, all the tools. 10-4. Six-point lead for the Golden Lions. Alabama and in with the ball. Five to shoot. The drive. Step back, 15-footer goes for Julian Walters. Pulls the Bulldogs to within four. Cross court to McKnight for three. No good. Rebound, a and we're going to have a foul on Harper, and he's I'm got two unsure. quick ones here. I am unsure on that one. He had the ball in his I, hand. I thought he let go let on go. the way down. He had his hand in there, and maybe it was a late whistle. But if it's, if it's going to be that late, then you just don't call it. You Harper know? is out, the rifleman, as I call him. Tolliver comes in. Oh, yeah, that guy. He's the shooter. American sniper. Seen in theaters near you. So he is in the game. Joe Randall Tolliver, we speak of. AM with the ball, down four. Wiley gives it back to the big man inside, but a miss there by Burnett. 
Yeah, he's got a defense alignment build, 6'4", 275. And he may play football as well. That's a heck of an athlete if you can do both. Here's McKnight trying to back his man down. Tough fadeaway, a lot of contact, no call. Banyard, a tough rebound. Misses it, gets it back, scores anyway. You see, this is the exact thing that we were looking for in the, in the ladies' game was the rebounding. They're rebounding, they're fighting for their inside position. It's more, it's more that than any sort of jumping height. Good hands here by Tolliver, comes up with a steal. Now to McKnight, to Banyard, a lot of contact there on the driving layup. No call, Alabama a and comes away with it. In the corner, three, an air ball, no good by Johnson. Offensive rebound by Burnett and gets knocked out of bounds. Got another media timeout here, we'll step aside. 11.55 to play first half. UAPB leads it over Alabama a and by a score of 12 to six. Right back with more in a moment. Eleven fifty-five remaining. Twelve six our score. UAPB doubling up the Bulldogs early on here. AM will inbound it. Underneath their own basket. Get it into Merriweather. Inside Burnett. Kind of got it deflected. And as he was making his move, shuffled his feet. And he kind of felt like he didn't really have possession of the ball fully when he was traveling, if you will, there, and that's maybe what they're going to talk about. And they will go ahead and go with the initial call. Yeah, I mean, that's the right move right there. It's, uh, it's, it's one of those discretion-type plays. Could have been called either way. First-year head coach Donnie Marsh getting an explanation from the officials. Hardy's checked in for the first time for the Golden Lions as well. Jackson, right side of the floor, nine to shoot. Now to Tolliver, passes up the three. Hardy will not in the corner, he missed it, but a nice put back there on the offensive board is Jackson for the easy two. How tough is Jackson, man? He's, he, he's probably one of the muscles of this team if you're gonna, if you're gonna give him a name. Well, he, He's a mismatch problem for some teams because he's kind of a tweener there. He's a he's a big guard. He yeah. can he can play more than one position. You know he will back down and post up smaller guards and then step out and knock down the three like a shooting guard. Here is Tolliver. Speaking of shooting, it's spun out on him halfway down, but would not stay. 14 to eight, Alabama A&M with the ball down six. Only just. Good hands again, Tolliver, the steal. McKnight back to Tolliver, squares up the three, got yeah. it. That, 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 that's a tall goal you're used to seeing. That first one was just a little bit off. This one, right on the money. 17-8 after the three-point shot there by Tolliver. And oh. almost a steal. McKnight, McKnight. Uh, he read yeah. it perfectly, just. <laughs> 
We needed right some of those there. wide receiver gloves uh, man, I to bring that this, one in. I want to put some rubber cement on his hand, see if that works out. That's a catch he almost had. It was just rolled harmlessly to the outside and out of play. Ten minutes to go, halfway point of the first half. Golden Lions up by nine. A&M with it here. Twelve on the shot clock. Petty. The drive of the left hand in the lane off the glass. No good. Whistle and identical foul call. Yeah, identical movements by both Golden Lions there. Banyard and I believe it was uh, Jackson down there. Uh, but either way, they didn't get a handle on the ball. Excellent move by uh, number three, Dead Petty. That was a good outside kind of scoop on the outside there. But just didn't get the ball to go in. Got the foul, though, and at least one point. Just knocks that one down. Deedrick Petty, six foot sophomore guard out of Bessemer, Alabama. One of the few decisions. David Tillman made. checks in for the first time as Banyard will take a rest here. Right. Good Banyard off the bench. Super electric off the bench is Banyard. Another big crowd on hand here to check out the first place Golden Lions. It's pretty full out here, man. And they lead it over AM by seven here, 17 to 10. Hardy to take the open 15 footer, right baseline, no good. McKnight's got it up the tip on the long rebound. McKnight to pull the three, too strong, no good. Yeah, oh, it's going to be a backcourt. Back it should. They missed oh. it. It went off McKnight's hand, but they did not see it. All right, sure. I'll take it. <laughs> we, we had a better look at it. McKnight's yeah. going to make them pay for their discretion there. <laughs> we had a good look at it. It clearly went off McKnight's hand. It sure did. And, but, uh, but heads up play. The gold lines, instead of just giving up on it, chased it down nevertheless. And the right. officials I mean, did it's not your, it's see not your it. job. It's not your job to be the referee. You know, you uh, play until you hear a whistle. That's and that happens. Sometimes you just don't get a good uh, visual of it. And it just so happened it was, it was for our side. about 15 feet away from us. We had a good look at it. But uh, one of the officials, if not all of them, may have been blocked By because of where the play too. was. So, They're not positioned to yeah. be this far out towards midcourt to right. see if it yeah, exactly. was touched. and. Also, to their defense, uh, it, McKnight had his back to them, so they couldn't really see exactly. him uh, touch the basketball there. But nevertheless, the Gold Lions lead it by nine, 19 to 10. There's a three by Wiley in the corner, and he hits. Good job by Wiley getting himself open for just a moment, and it was an awkward looking shot, but it doesn't matter how awkward it is, it's a matter as it goes in. Very good. McKnight the lob to Tillman inside. Good ball reversal here. Boy, around the horn it goes. Jackson, rise and fire for three. No good. It was right on, on. but just short. short. So close. Jackson could be heat. He's a very streaky shooter. And if he's hot, he's hot. Look for that today. Petty looks inside. Wiley wanted it. Now he's going to set him a screen. In the corner, little ball fake. Nice pass in the duck by Andre Kennedy. Good basketball there. Yeah, great ball movement against this zone. Able to pull people out of the paint and feed it in there. That's nice work. Right through the hands of McKnight and out of bounds, but last touch by AM. The ball bit him on the fingers a little bit right there. You couldn't keep a handle on it. I'm going to have a media timeout here as it's an even eight minutes from halftime. 19 to 15, the Golden Lions lead the Bulldogs of Alabama AM by four right back with more Golden Lion basketball after this timeout.
Eight minutes to play before half, 19 to 15. Go Lions up four with the ball. Tolliver step back, three is good. Two in a row for that rifleman. Joe Randall Tolliver is starting to heat up and look out if he does. Oh man. Gold Lions now up seven. Step back Ooh. three of his own is knocked down by Jalen Reeder. Reeder was guarding Tolliver on that play. Previous. Posey gonna pick up a reach in foul there on Reeder. With seven and a half to play before halftime. Christian Robertson's gonna check in for the first time for UAPB as Charles Jackson will take a seat. Christian Robinson has been playing well as well off the bench. He was a very key factor in that game on Monday. We'll see what he can do today. Here's McKnight. It's to go inside and wills it in. Enough English on the spin of the basketball. He was able to kiss it off the glass. Beautifully done by McKnight. He was looking for Tolliver on that drive. The aware with all to realize his defender didn't leave him, so he just went up and took it himself. McKnight's just a prolific scorer. I mean, he, he can score in a, a bevy of ways, if you will. Long three, no good by Petty, but an offensive rebound, kick out. Another missed three, this time by Merriweather, and the Golden Lions come away with it. Look out from behind, McKnight got it poked away, but out of bounds off of Reeder, it'll stay with the Golden Lions with 26 on the shot clock, 6.54 before halftime, and UAPB leading by six. Robinson was key on that, on that defensive rebound there. He fought for that ball, knocked it out of the uh, Bulldogs' hands on the way to across the field, uh, across the court. McKnight will take the jumper and hits off the right side, and oh his, my. his stroke seems to be locked in here tonight. You're gonna have to watch out, man, McKnight. Can light you up if you let him. Uh, he's got 11 and off to a good start in this one, whereas he had zero points for about five minutes to go on Monday night, finished with about 15, but yeah, he, could, he, he could can turn it, it on now. when he wants to. Exactly. Well, it was a couple of Saturday nights ago. Two weeks ago tonight, he scored 39 at Prairie View, so he likes those Saturday nights. Oh, we do too. And we like Tolliver dialing it up from deep waters. Joe Randall rips it again. Another three point shot for Joe Randall Tolliver. That's his third in a row. And the Golden Lions lead is up to 11 here 29 to 18, 608 to play first half. Yeah, Coach Dylan, Hill, uh, uh, Dylan Howard for the. Alabama A&M Bulldogs like, was all in the air of the defender in that play as too much space. you got to get in, in Tolliver's face if you're going to defend him. You might as well, if you're not like two inches from his face, you might as well not even be there at all. Tolliver is just that good from deep. And he's going to stay out here. Yeah, so he's, he's real comfortable in that 23 to 25 foot range. It's a layup for him almost. It's so smooth. And he loves that spot over there on the left wing. As we've seen him hit three in a row from that same spot. 29-18. Bulldogs with the basketball as they trail UAPB by 11. Now 5.45 left before half. Five to shoot here for the Bulldogs. Johnson. The dump off in the basket by Kennedy. That's the second time Kennedy's been the recipient of a similar play there. Yeah, great job by him, able to find the space in the zone. Robertson, he'll take the open 15-footer, no good. Offensive rebound, Tillman got it stripped, and then he's going to pick up the foul going for the ball. Tillman's a big guy at 6'10", and all of that. Ran directly into the back of uh, 
That's the rebounding player. He had a chance to that rebound and he just was not able to get a hold of it. He wasn't able to squeeze the pumpkin, if you will. He brought it down too, that's number two. So. Trey Harper off the bench will come in for Tillman. A not so pretty free throw there. No, that was <laughs> <laughs> putting it mildly. McKnight the shake and the jumper goes once again. Yeah, as on, on now. This, this Martavius is, the first, is filling it. This is the first game I've seen McKnight really turn it on. Confidence level is very high it's right so now. So high right now, and I, in the, can you blame him? 31-20 lead back to 11. 4:50 to go. Again, it's. Oh, he wanted it. <laughs> he was trying to throw Andre, one down. To, Andre but Kennedy was trying. That wasn't happening. Yeah, Andre Kennedy was cocked it all the way back behind his head, almost back past to his, his ankle. <laughs> and he was going to try to dunk contest style. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, he was trying for something surreal. And ended with a shot at the line. Knocked that one down, though. Makes it 31-21 with 4.45 left before halftime. One more coming up for Kennedy. Eight fouls on the Golden Lions, only three on AM. Another bad miss to the left there by oh, no. Kennedy. And the yeah. Golden Lions corral the rebound. Lead it by 10 with the basketball here. Here's Posey trying to get it to McKnight, and McKnight was held before the shot, and that's just the fourth team foul on AM. I'm, sorry, I'm, I'm very busy enjoying this crowd right now. <laughs> they're putting in they're putting in all the they're putting in all the work right now. And if you can hear them behind me, you know how adamant they are right now. Not sure what they're looking at here, maybe the shot clock. Making sure that's correct. So always gotta make sure the shot clock is correct. Tolliver inbounds it to Posey. Posey, now to McKnight, 10 to shoot here. McKnight squares up, knocks down another one. This and is nothing you can do. There's literally nothing you can do when McKnight is just on fire. Like he you could is, be in his shirt and he'd still find a way to make the ball go in. He is laser sharp right now on that jumper. 33-21, lead at 12. Their largest lead here in the first half for the Golden Lions. Four minutes to go before halftime. Long three right side is short by Merriweather. Tolliver almost traveled with it. He needed some help. And <laughs> luckily, McKnight was there to bail him out. Smart play by Tolliver. That's going to be a foul on AM. Arthur Johnson. It's going to be the Fifth team foul and Johnson's first. We'll have a media timeout here. We'll step aside. You're watching and listening to Golden Lion Basketball Hot 89.7 UAPB TV collab. Right back with 3.49 to go before half. 33-21, good guys on top. Appreciate it. I really am proud of y'all. I want to go back there. I want to make sure I got the shot clock right. Can you go back? Get that last three points on that foul so I can see how much time it is on the shot clock. Right.
3.49 to go. 33-21 as the Golden Lions are going to inbound it, leading by 12. Christian Robertson will get it to Posey here. 20 on the shot clock. Here's a three left side. McKnight, no good. Well contested that time on the closeout by Johnson. We got a whistle, and McKnight may have got cut. And maybe on that shot, he's thinking, should have shot free throws if I'm cut. Maybe. On but. the shot, right? <laughs> that, I mean, that maybe. constitutes as a foul. It does, but I think they were trying to fix the they shot They say clock. no blood, no foul, prison well, rules, right? I mean, I like well, that kind of basketball. That's, that's where I have a chance oh, man. That, to get some of these athletes. But, I'm uh, kind of somewhere in the middle. <laughs> Here's a three, Johnson. This time he connects Arthur Johnson. He's got five in the game, and it's 33-24. Pulls the Bulldogs to within nine. 3.15 to play before halftime. It's all of almost drawing another foul. <laughs> Three minutes to go. Step back, McKnight got Caught him. With, caught him with the snatch back. The little yoki doke. Yeah, man. Put him on the yo-yo and it was, uh, that was, see that ya. Was, that was delicious. That was... Incredible, quick. 35, 24, 241 to play. Here before halftime, and step back, long three will not go for Reader. Offensive rebound, stick back will go for Arthur Johnson. He's come alive now with seven first half points. Now back within single digits, but. Golden Lions, I mean, a lot of their offense has been very effective. Posey off the glass and scores. Like right there, great shot by Posey. Realizing the pressure wasn't on him, so he just took it to the net. Simple, they're keeping it simple right now. Thirty-seven, twenty-six. Two minutes before half. And Petty almost turns it over there. Kick out, Johnson spots up for three, no good this time, long rebound. Last touch, gonna say by Tolliver. That was a close one, could have gone either way, but now they're gonna, now they're gonna have a new clock. A new 30 seconds to work with. And they're probably looking for three. They're looking for three to get them within a more manageable, cent, uh, more manageable deficit before the second half begins. Gold Lions up 11, Bulldogs basketball here. Reader. Now Petty's got it. 15 to shoot. Kennedy will go up with it with a right hand and score. That was nice. That was a nice move by Kennedy. Drop step, spin back, hook shot. Beautifully done. Beautifully done by Kennedy. Sprinkle in the game for the first time for the Golden Lions. Jackson back in as well, and Hardy to go along with Posey and Robertson. 13 to shoot here. Old Lions up nine, one minute to go before half. Jackson, high arcing three, a little too strong, no good. Robertson had the board, but got it stripped before he could to. go back up with it. Got to squeeze that pumpkin, man. Never been able to do it. 40 seconds left before half, 15 on the shot clock. And McKnight's coming right back in the game. Yeah, they didn't like that last possession. Seven to shoot, trying to squeeze it inside to Kennedy and couldn't handle the rocket pass as the Golden Lions are get it back here. They can pretty much hold for the final shot if they want to do so, just a second apart from the Shot clock, they're going to call a timeout and talk it over. Leading by nine. I mean, final easy. shot. I'm, yeah, I can I, live with that. Yeah, I can live with that too, especially when you have two of the better shooters on your team on the floor right now. Tolliver checking in as well for, uh, for Sprinkle, I believe it was. Or Robinson, one of the two. But either way, though, Tolliver, who's been lightning from deep. Laser Tolliver's focus. got. 
Nine points. Of course, this is an old stat sheet, I believe, here. He's hit it another is. three since we've got it, it that is. one. Well, I'll tell you what, he does have nine points. That is the one thing we can be certain about. His actual percentage, I'm, I'm going to say he's three for four. I only seen, I only seen him miss one, and that was the first one he took. I like it. I like it too. My pretty good. On point. Seventy-five percent. That's pretty good percentage. It's not bad at all. Rem reminiscent of Jackson State, which is still a crazy game, and I don't understand how we won, but we won that one. It's crazy. Uh, remarkable comeback for sure. Fifteen seconds left here as they tried to get it in there to Steen, and a little miscommunication with Tolliver, and he throws it away. Thought Steen was, I think, going to cut on the baseline there, and he stopped. There's a bit of a misread there. Nothing too big on the side of Tolliver. Uh, that's a mistake. He wanted the backdoor cut. And the defender defended it well. Ten seconds left. Now A&M will hold for the final shot. Down by nine. Merriweather to Petty. Some contact, no call. Play on three is no good by Petty, and that's how we end the first half of action. 37-28, the Golden Lions lead it over Alabama A&M by nine at halftime. We'll have the second half coming up for you shortly. I need to go in my car.
Johnson and Coach Karen Clark, Director of Spirit Programs. Right now, ladies and gentlemen, we will have an half court, a half court attempt. Participant will attempt one half court shot for a chance to win a what? An iPad Mini. An iPad Mini. We have Zeman, India, Frank, and Samaria. They will have the opportunity to make a half court shot. If they can make it, they can win an iPad Mini. All right, ladies and gentlemen, cheer them on. Good luck to our contestants. Don't make a sign.
Welcome back inside of H.O. Clemens Arena. Tim Stubbs, Tyrese Poon, and the Golden Lions up by 9, 37, 28 as we are set to begin the second half of action here. Alabama and m will inbound it. Leading score for the Golden Lions at halftime, 17. Big first half for Martavius McKnight to lead the way for the Golden Lions. He had nine points for Joe Randall Tolliver with those three three-point baskets. And the Golden Lions up nine here as we start the second half. AM and with the basketball, Wiley. Now on top of the key shot clock under 10 here. As Petty's got it, trying to drive baseline, sealed off, step back three, highly contested, no good. Good defense there by the Golden Lions as Jackson comes down with the rebound. Now to Steen, backs his man down, turns off the glass, score it too easy. Big shot down low. Just, just too big to control bars as he makes the beautiful post drop step and gets the easy two. Lead up to 11, 39, 28. Largest lead has been 12. Johnson inside and Kennedy lost it going up, but he's fouled. And Jackson tried to take the ball away with the, the uppercut type motion. He got a little more arm than he did ball. Although he did have to get quite a bit of ball for the ball to go up as high as it did. It almost went up over the backboard. Andre Kennedy, 6'7", junior forward out of Albany, Georgia. And, you know, I wish I could play basketball still, but I stopped growing. I think football caused that because I'm only like 6'2 and a half. And you keep reading off names that say 6'6", 6'7", 6'12". It's, <laughs> it's ridiculous out here, man. What about our short folk, huh? <laughs> yeah, they, the free throw is good. I'm just letting you, <laughs> letting you ran over here. That's all good. 39, 30, nine point lead after the free throws there by Kennedy. Steen backed up, needs some help, gets it to McKnight. Extra pass, extra dunk, beautiful. extra good. That was all the extras you probably need for a beautiful play. McKnight, he likes to be a passer. I wouldn't say he's passed first, but he's a very good distributor, and he's, he had great vision right there. 41-30 after the, the dime by McKnight and the dunk by Harper. 10 on the shot clock. Wiley, not a very good pass. Steen steals it to Posey. McKnight to Steen, oh. who is going to rip the rim off, and he's fouled hard by Kennedy from behind. Yeah, man, the, uh, Kennedy came in like a house on fire. He was not going to let Steen have a clear shot at the net. Almost knocked him out the sky there. And like you said uh, earlier in the game, it's, not a, uh, it's kind of unsafe being in the air because there's only one way you can go and you can be manipulated in any way. Came, came behind him and smashed him. Free throw is good for Trent Steen. Trent Steen, a relatively good free throw shooter. I like, I like watching him shoot free throws. I feel like if I had to do my head math, he's around the 70% mark. Oh, we have head math. On the season, uh, Steen at 62% for right. the year. That's about right. I, I figured he wouldn't be higher than 70. I gave him the BOD for that one. Three left side, no good there for Wiley. Good hands by Jackson, knocks it out of bounds. 17.47 to go second half as we take another look at the replay on our monitor here. Split the double team. McKnight, share the sugar. And the finish by Harper. Big boy plays all the way day. And good shot there underneath the basket. Yeah, Keanu Austin. 
on that shot. Harper the rebound, kicks it ahead. Posey got shoved in the back, no call. He's looking at the official. But the steal after that by Jackson, he may have he may have caught, got, something, got caught hit, something low. Got hit in the southern region. Yeah, he caught something low. And I feel like I was talking about a boxing match where something like that happened more than once. <laughs> so so many to, thoughts going so through my head. <laughs> nothing you not, can say on air. It's not right. suitable. Not suitable at all. But I bet three of them have that has to do with, like, what is going on? Now? Oh, my goodness. 43-30. <laughs> And now a steal here. Johnson the steal to Petty. Pull up 15-footer. No good. Rebound. Ball on the floor. It's going to be a tie-up. Alternating possession to Pine Bluff. So the Gold Lions will get it back, leading 13 by, let's see, 17.05 to go. About three minutes going by in the second half. I mean, if, I mean we got to increase this lead because if we teach ourselves anything, is that no leave is safe. None. So you gotta Never. keep you gotta keep it turned on. They've been doing pretty well so far of not letting off the gas, but yeah, you just gotta keep it going. Posey to Harper. Tolliver left side. Fifteen on the shot shirt. clock here and kick out. Harper, he'll take the three, no good. Going to get Steen with a little cheap over the back foul going for the rebound. And that's going to be his third. Yeah, that's correct. That's going to be his third foul. So he needs to be really careful. Five fouls and you're out of there in college basketball. He has to just be careful with his uh, body positioning. Top of the key here, Petty. Now on the corner, trying to get it to Kennedy. Good hands, and then Harper couldn't handle it after it looked like he was going to come up with a steal. Johnson's there to get a little junk bucket on the baseline. A good move by Johnson, just being aware of the play. Here's McKnight. The spin at the foul line, the layup no good, draws the foul. He'll shoot two, and you can have that all day long. I <laughs> mean. It might is just it's something else. He is something else. Just Hard to guard. It's just the quickness. I mean, but he's so smooth at, with it as well. Silky and slick. Swilky, swilky, silky smooth. He's. I was gonna make an analogy like a <laughs> like a cheetah on on oil, in the oil field, man. He's quick and slick. And this cheetah. is the first free throw. <laughs> cheetah in the oil field. <laughs> I don't know where I come up with these, man. I don't know. It, it, it's, it's beautiful, I think. I think it's a gift. <laughs> As we knock one down. One for two 40, today. 44, 32, lead at 12. Four minutes going by, second half. Walters. Now to Wiley, he'll get it back here. And Wiley, he'll take the three and hits from the left wing. That was a smooth stroke from, from Wiley there. And that's his second three. He's got seven in the game. And back to a nine-point contest. And that's not going to help. Nope. Turnover, and we got a media timeout. That could have been that could not have been more well timed. Right? Yes, come to the good time. We'll step aside here. 1542 to play. Second half, UAPB leads it by nine over Alabama A&M, 44-35, right back in a moment.
15-42 remaining. Alabama and will inbound it, trailing the Golden Lions by nine. And a little stoppage in play here. They were trying to roll it as far as they could without picking it up to save themselves a couple of seconds. I mean, I've never seen, I've never seen a team do that still this early on, but. <laughs> They're trying to save up for later in the game, I guess. Every second counts. I mean, true enough. Wiley dumped down pass, stolen away for a second. Nope. And wow. it's going to result in a two for Alabama A&M and kind of got a lucky break there. Yeah, great, great recovery on that play. All of a sudden, from 13 to 7 here. Like I said, no lead is safe. We know that. Tolliver, another turnover. Nope. Recovered by Steen instead. Goes up, shot up, nice and soft, but wouldn't go down. Here's Johnson, the kick out. Walters for three, no good. And Tolliver up high for the rebound. Ahead to Posey. Posey. Banyard is fouled and is going to shoot two. And when you're struggling on offense like we are for the past moment or so, that's exactly what you need to do. Get the ball down low and try to draw a foul, get to the line. What's up? Towards the back. Towards the back, okay. Men's cool. notes are in the back there. 45-37. One more coming up here for Banyard. And he knocks it in. Knocks down both shots. Lead back to nine. 14-40 to play. Petty right side Johnson. The blow by. Contact no call. And scores anyway. And how, how maybe fortunate it wasn't an and one there. Straight up in the air, that's all legal right there. 11 points now for Johnson. Back to Posey. And McKnight will step out here. McKnight step back three, bang! He's got 21 in the game and his big night continues. Man, Petty was just not good enough. A little bit of an acting job there, in my opinion, by Petty. Kind of a petty call. Yeah, if you will. I mean, like I was saying on the McKnight three, Petty uh, just was a little bit lackadaisical because McKnight just took a one step, one dribble, and then popped it up. I mean, it's just so smooth with him. Baseline drive and score for Reeder inside. And the UABB Golden Lions just keeping them between 9 and 11. McKnight shaking it up a little bit inside. Steen, grown man style. That's big boy. What, what you going to do when the steam run wild on you? That's what he's doing today. With his eight uh, points. Is open mic night. What's going on here? I mean, you know. And a miss. Tolliver the rebound. Little freestyling over here. The lob and the finish. Hey, look at that. Banyard crushes it home off the assist and lob by McKnight. The most prettiest play in all of basketball, the alley-oop there. 53-41, lead back to 12 just like that. Reader's oh three my. is blocked by Banyard. Uh -uh. Not in my house, son. Not in the house of the Banyard. <laughs> this is not going to happen like that. Great block by Banyard. And I believe Reeder for Alabama saw him coming. He thought he could get the shot up faster. Mm -hmm. ah, ah. That ain't going to happen. Man. Not up in here. <laughs> <laughs> Here's Petty to drive. Missed it. Battle for it. Jackson's got it for Pine Bluff. Ahead of McKnight. Left side, open three, Posey hits. <laughs> and McKnight's hands in the air with a little bit of a hallelujah. Was, it's rolling, lead man, at 15. How he set that pass up was beautiful. He looked, he turned his whole body the opposite direction, but he knew Posey was in the corner waiting for him. Man, McKnight is just something special. That's 
back-to-back -back assist for him as well. He's just seeing the whole floor right now. Goes up with it and scoring is Wiley inside, 56-43. I mean, Alabama against anyone else, they'd be doing fairly well. It's just we're just on fire right now. 11.50 and counting. Next dead ball will be a media timeout. Here is Jackson. Nine to shoot, gonna have to move here. A little one-on-one -on -one game. Rise and fire for three and hits. Charles Jackson dials one up from deep. Wow, that's his, He's got seven in the game and for Jackson, that's his first three of the game. The lead now up to 16. And Jackson just freezing the feet of the defender there and just pops it up. It's, it's so smooth for everyone. Here's Burnett with the left hand. Too short, no good. And there is a whistle and a foul. Jackson, he got it. But we'll, as we go to break here, we'll take a look at the McKnight lob and the Vanyard finish on the alley-oop dunk. How sweet it is. We'll step aside. 59-43, second half, 11-16 to go. Golden Lions in control back in a moment. having fun tonight, huh? 11-16 remaining. Alabama a will inbound it as we resume play here. Tim Stubbs, Tyree Spoon. Court side at H.O. Clemens Arena here having fun. Golden Lions leading by 16 here on this Saturday night game at the Hyper. Off the glass, no good, but Johnson able to clean it up after his own miss. And he's got 13 points to lead the way for the Bulldogs. A little hesitation blow by there by McKnight. He's fouled and it's gonna be on the floor, no shot. Second foul on Johnson, but. I mean, how many minutes has McKnight played today? Is he's, well, he's barely, he just. He's barely came out. He came out even, for like a drop of water. Yeah, he's and he's came not back sweating, the game. he's fine. He's fine. I mean, the conditioning of McKnight is just something to be old with. Though. He played 19 minutes in the first half. The spin by Banner, beautiful move, and lays it in softly with the left hand. How sweet was that? Man, he's just so good. So good. Alabama and m now with the ball. Merriweather on the right wing. Ten and a half to go in the game now. About halfway point of the second half. Golden Lions leads at 16. Shot clock is down to seven here. Walters, nice drive, and he'll lay it in, the running layup there. And they just cut that 2-3 zone apart. Hardy goes baseline, now inside the Banyard, right up with it, and a little short. Kind of got his body turned a little bit in the air there. Yeah, you gotta, gotta keep aware of your body in the air there. Burnett, little baby hook, no good. Tolliver with the rebound. They've tried everything Alabama a and It's just has not worked. They tried the deep ball, and that's had some limited success. They tried the dribble drive, and that's had limited success, but the key, the key word there is limited. Here's McKnight, the shake, and the fade away. Got How the roll. How pretty was that? How pretty was that? 
The Jordan esque. I mean, Fade away. honestly, I mean, someone gave him the Jordan package from 2K. Oh, you've been studying <laughs> either way. It's like watching a video game with that guy. He's got 23 to match his number on his jersey. Rebound here by Banyard after the quick miss by the Bulldogs. Lead at 16. Lead oh, at 16. I was <laughs> wanting to say 19 so bad. And you just expect it to go in right now, as hot as he's been. And efficient, too. He was 8 of 11 from the field in the first half. Pretty much continued here in the second half. He's got 23 for the game and some nice assist as well. And Knight is it's like just a coming too easy to him right here. Yeah, it's, 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 it, he almost looks bored out there. I would hate to put that on him, but it's just like it's just so slick, so easy. It looks like barely in an effort. He's so relaxed and comfortable out there. Oh, still by Posey ahead to McKnight. Banyard follows it up and throws it down. It's time to put on the show, boys. It's showtime out here. Looking like, looking like uh, what, 80s Lakers or something like that, man. Showtime. It's showtime in Pine Bluff. Banyard the trailer and smashed it down. Lead at 18 now, a game high 18. Here's a three left side. Will not go. McKnight up high, snatches down the one-handed rebound. Good Lord, he's just doing everything fancy now. The spin move, and he's fouled on the layup. Two shots coming up. and One of the very few ugly spins I've seen from, from McKnight as we look at the replay assist. again. Another assist, yeah. They, that went off the backboard, by backboard, the way. Backboard, baby. By the way, oh all-star game style. All-star game style. Throws it off the backboard, and Banyard smashes it down and you know you're having fun when he could pull out something like exactly. that exactly i mean but it was, but it was it was it was beautiful yeah absolutely. i mean there was no there was no ugliness about it it was just i all right i see you there i know where you are put this in for me baby that's all it was i mean night is just on fire he's got 24 in the game after that free throw and one more coming up and he's got that one as well, so looks points. like uh, he's on on route to a 30-point contest. Man. The back-to-back -back Saturday night, or two Saturday nights ago, he had 39. I wonder how much rest he got last night. I wonder what kind of breakfast he had. <laughs> those games. Jumper right wing, no good by Merriweather. Reader the offensive board. Goes baseline to Petty. Missed it, Harper cleans it up. Now to McKnight, lead at 20 for the Golden Lions. Harper spins in the lane and they're gonna call him for steps. <laughs> yeah, he tried, to, he tried his best McKnight impression. There didn't quite work out as he was halfway through the spin. And hit him with the little, the little jitterbug. Referee's gonna catch that. George Ivory didn't like the call. We'll step aside here, 7.49 to play. Second half, Golden Lions in control and rolling up big here. 67-47, 20-point advantage. Right back with more after this timeout. right now are laid back yeah. up by 20. 67, 47, 749 to play. And in control here as they've opened it up to a big lead in the second half. They led by nine at halftime. They got a whistle, a foul on the drive as Julian yeah. Walters will. 
the one and one, I believe. Yes. Uh, not yet. All right. You got to get seven fouls. Uh, we just did a women's game where it was five fouls and seven for the men. There's a shot inside, blocked by Banyard, and off to the race as we go again. Left side, corner pocket, three, got it. McKnight is right. It's, 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 it's almost too easy for the guy, man. It's almost, like this guy is on He's another now level right now. 11 of 15 from the field. I mean, how, how efficient is that? That's like they put the video game on rookie mode or something. Air ball on the three and another run out here. Harper is oh. fouled as he had to kind of step aside, would be defender there. So he lost a little momentum, lost a little bit of. Lost a little bit of momentum there, but he's some of his bunnies there, there, but gathered himself and goes to the foul line. Jeez, but I mean, they're looking. Right as soon yeah. as they get it, they're turning it up court they're, and yeah, they're I mean, bringing it. You saw Hardy tell McKnight, like, you got to lot that one up for the guy. I mean, they're, they're just trying to have fun now and just close this game out strong. Because I don't see much that uh, Alabama A&M can do. I mean, there's still plenty of time, but like the leaves just starting to grow and grow and grow. And it's, good. And it's becoming difficult to be able to you know, discern where it's going to go from here. 72-47 after the Harper free throws. McKnight leading score for the goal lines. He's got 28. Gosh, that's just so good. Inside, and Kennedy looked like he just kind of lost it. Going to bail out Kennedy with a foul on Banyard. And George Ivory can't believe it. And I'm with him. I was looking right at yeah, that. It I'm looked like Kennedy yeah. just lost it. Yeah, he just lost the lost ball. Lost control when they because he turned and Banyard was there, they just assumed he committed the foul, but instead it's gonna be a two here for Kennedy as he gets it on the inbound, but the lead still rather large at 23. Yeah, that's a lot of lead to get behind. Christian Robertson in the ball game now. You got Hardy, McKnight, Banyard, and Harper as well. Trying to direct traffic here. Shot clock at nine. McKnight, nice pass to Banyard underneath, gets it blocked from behind. And going to be a jump ball tie up. Going to go to AM. Or not. Going to stay with UAPV, like I said. I don't understand. <laughs> Can someone please explain? Uh, they're talking about uh, what the purpose yeah, of the possession gonna, arrow is. Yeah, they're going to change it now to AM. Like I said before, like I said. Like, like you said before, like you said before, <laughs> when you said it before on the first time. Exactly. Someone needs to keep on top of that possession arrow. Well, I thought they pointed initially to A&M, and then UAPB was taking the ball out of bounds, so it got a little confusing there. Uh, that's probably more of a referee thing than it was uh, anyone else thing. So moving right along, though. A&M with a basketball. Just over six minutes to play. Gold Lions up by 23. Extra pass and the big dunk there by Kennedy. And that didn't really take the air out the, out the stadium like he was planning on it. Just got the skate even louder. McKnight with a basketball. They worked the clock just a little bit here on this possession. Well, forget that. I'll take the three, says I mean, McKnight. <laughs> Just a little too strong, no good. A rare miss for him, and a foul is going to be called on Harper. I don't understand. It just looked like he fell. <laughs> I, I am misunderstanding um, some of the decisions the referees are making, and it's going to be the seventh and finally the one and one. Reader at the line here for a one and one. Now, I've been waiting all season for the, the Golden Lions to act like a 8 and one team, because like the last couple games have been like by the skin of their teeth. I would I would hate to be, uh, be premature about anything, but they're acting like a three and one, uh, like an eight and one team against a two and seven team. Exactly, it's just it's, it's what's just, supposed to happen, it's right? It's supposed to happen. 72-51. Harper goes right up with it and scores about eight feet out the lane. I mean. You know, they just kind of left the middle open for him, and he's going to take that all day. He's lapsing on defense now as they Alabama and 
Harper has seven in the game. Lead at 23. Here's Kennedy. Goes up with a tough one-handed shot. No good. Excellent defense by Harper there. Just sticking with him straight up. No leaning forward. Robertson knifes his way in the lane. Going to get called for steps, however. I mean, so. it was a good move. Just illegal. <laughs> <laughs> he stepped through there. It was beautiful. I mean, he got all the way to the other side of the basket and made the shot, but nothing counted. Here's Kennedy. Down low. Johnson missed it, but he draws the foul. He'll shoot two. As we're down to 449 late in this one, the Golden Lions in control. Up 74-51, 23-point lead. Javron Sprinkle set to check in along with Trent Steen. That's going to be Harper's fourth, by the way. So he's going to definitely come out the game for what, the fifth foul. Crowd getting loud for free throw attempt, but still is good. I mean, 22-point lead is 449. Again, I have to reiterate because people are going to misunderstand me. I do not want them to come back, but no lead is safe if we have anything to say about it. Like if, I mean, we've come back from much uh, from around about the same time last week or on Monday. Lead at 21. This game has a much different feel. It does. Though. I rewatched that broadcast, and at one point I had mentioned that it was a 17 or 18 point game, but it felt like a one possession game, and that was still right. early in the second half. And the Golden Lions, you could just feel, were still very competitive and playing hard in this crowd as McKnight just puts up his 30th point of the game, but. It had a different feel yeah. to it than this game. Yeah, it, it doesn't. I, it doesn't feel like Alabama's playing this as hard. Twenty-three point lead here kind of feels like forty-three. Yeah. Tipped around and taken now by Robertson. Robertson has a nose for that football. Push it ahead. Ball. How about the no look lob wow. and the duck by Steen? Wow. And right now, McKnight crazy. can do no wrong. His third lob assist. And Steen with the throw down this time, and they're just having fun here tonight. I mean, up by 25, giving this big crowd a little, a little bit of a, a show. Little show, absolutely. A bit of reason to just stick around. We've been needing one of these yes. after all these nail biters, definitely, right? Definitely, definitely. Can just kind of sit back and enjoy it. Yeah. Let me let me night do his thing. Here's Robertson at the elbow, missed it. Offensive rebound, and this time it's going to stay with Pine Bluff as Kennedy kind of stands over the top of Steen, but cooler heads prevail. Immediate timeout. Yep. We'll step aside here, 325 to go, our final timeout of the ball game. Golden Lions having fun at the Hyper tonight, 7855. All UAPB, right back with more in a moment.
Going to inbound it here to Sprinkle with 3.20 left to go in the game. I was looking over the stats from Montavious McKnight. 72 assists on the season before this game. And you know that's going to be probably in the 80s afterwards because he's just been everywhere. Sprinkle needs some help. He's going to go up with it now. No good. Tick attack. <laughs> I mean, Tick -tack. it's a little overreacting. He was barely touched. Yeah, and he, he just, just kind of stepped into his area. And like, no, you breathe too hard on him. He hurt. And watching them Vladi Divots videos oh again. Oh the king of the flop. Man, that guy was too big to be flopping. I, I feel like if you over like the Turkish six, tornado. <laughs> if, you, if you over like six eight, you shouldn't be flopping at all. I, I'm talking to you, LeBron. Anyway, oh, yeah. <laughs> easy now. Pump your brakes. I'm a big LeBron fan. I'm, I'm just saying. Leave my boy alone. I'm just saying. 78-56, <laughs> big lead here for the Golden Lions. 3.02 to go. And Johnson at the line. He's had a pretty good ball game, uh, 16 points. He and Kennedy both with 16. Now Johnson with 17, but that's just pretty, pretty much been those two guys, Johnson and Kennedy. They've combined for 33 of the 57, but that's been pretty much it for A&M. And They're leading the way the uh, for the Golden Lions, McKnight with 30. Of the Golden Lions 78. And I'd love to get a stat sheet over here and some updated numbers, but give you some more totals for the Golden Lions. But step back shot, Steen no good. AM will push it up. Two and a half to go in this one. 78 57. Long three, no good. Left side, rebound UAPB. Kenny, number three, is checking in the game. McKnight's still in the game. I mean, they're just going to let McKnight have fun. I feel like he requested. He's like, hey, well, he's on the verge of a triple double. That's why I want it. Yeah. At, at the 751 mark, he had 25 points, eight assists, seven rebounds. That's why I'd like to get an updated stat sheet as Steen hits the jumper on the baseline with two minutes left. Off of the McKnight assist. And 12 now for Steen. And the lead 80 to 57. 19 on the shot clock. Down to a minute and a half left. Wiley will take the three right wing it. No good. McKnight, and where's the call on that? Gets had the rebound. Gets knocked down as he comes down with it. No call. And I'm not getting now. that at all, but anyway. The crowd, or the uh, team. Yeah, they're going to get a big hand here for the marvelous one. McKnight, I believe he's going to have to stay in the game for a moment, but the whole team is up cheering him on, and yeah, I'm down. not sure. I wonder if he has a triple-double. Of course, can't. <laughs> Get any stats over here? M4 giving, giving him something. <laughs> One twenty-three a lot right now. As just how marvelous is that guy? Marvelous and, McKnight. Yeah, McKnight. Check. Just putting in. There you go. The, the yes. workman's. That's what I was just uh, alluding to, and now. It, they did make it official, uh, a triple-double tonight by McKnight. I did that without even having yeah. a current stat sheet. It's Beautiful. all up here. It's all in the noggin. In the, the old noodle. vault, my friend. But so never. Just over a minute left. 80 to 59, and the Golden Lions up big after the big night by McKnight. A triple-double kind of night. I told you he loves these Saturday night conference games. Yeah, he gets it. He gets to eat some, you know, good breakfast. You know, talk to, you know. Robertson, long on the three. Some lovelies or something like that. Something he does on Saturday, man. It gets him in the zone, for sure. 45 seconds left in this one. 
And the Golden Lions are going to cruise to their ninth conference win and prove to 9-1 and one in conference play. Alabama a will fall to 2-8 and eight as the jumper on the baseline is no good. A offensive rebound by Brandon Houston and stick back is there. He draws the foul. Uh, well, if there is a silver lining to be had for Alabama a and is at least it's not quite as bad as the last time they faced where the Golden Lions dropped 94 on them. I mean, 80 to 61, there's a marginal improvement. <laughs> not much of one, but it's one. As the lead has dropped down to 18. But 80 to 62, the largest lead was at 25, I believe, at one point. Yes, it's it was. At 18 right now, and that should be the final scores. The game clock and shot clock almost in unison, but the shot clock is just about a half second ahead. But the Golden Lions are going to win it, win it big here against Alabama A&M. It'll be one second left. A&M will inbound it. I'm surprised he didn't go for a shot there. But, I mean, and that's the ball game. Big win tonight for the UAPB Golden Lions, improving the 9-1 in conference play as they continue to stay atop of the Southwestern Athletic Conference standings and at least have a two-game lead at the very least, if not more, depending on what Grambling State, Jackson State, and Texas Southern did here this evening. We'll be here on Monday night against Alabama State after the Golden Lions get the season series sweep home and home against Alabama A&M. They look to do the same against Alabama State here on Monday night. For our crew here this evening, Frederick Price, Janisha Holliday, Kiana Austin, Randy Kelly, our director, and Tony Seville back in the Hot 89.7 studio. For Tyrese Boone, I am Tim Stubbs, our player of the game. Martavius McKnight, a triple-double, 30-point night, triple-double, big-time night for a big-time player as the Golden Lions win it by a final score of 80-62. to 62. Until then, for Tyrese, I'm Tim. We say so long from H.O. Clemens Arena. Go Lions. Good night.